Hi everyone. Typically, when you use a speed test app like fast.com or speedtest.net or even ovh.net, you're actually testing the speed of your internet connection through your internet service provider. That's a great test, of course, as you want to make sure that you're getting what you paid for, but it's also important to test the speeds of your own local home network. For example, if you're transferring large files between computers or streaming video locally, then it's great to know how fast your network is actually performing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your own speed test server on your own local network. It's really super easy to do and completely free and will allow you to test the speed of connections between various devices on your network. So for example, from an Ethernet connected laptop to another Ethernet connected machine or from an Ethernet connected device to a Wi-Fi connected device and so on. So let's get started. First of all, decide on which machine you'd like to install the uh, speed test server. I recommend an Ethernet connected machine and then open a browser and head over to openspeedtest.com. I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to be using a Windows 10 machine, but the software supports many other operating systems. Once you're on the website, just click on the download selection here and select the correct version of the device you're going to be running the server. Okay, once the download's completed, just head over to your downloads folder and you'll find the Open Speed Test Server app that's download. It's a portable device, so there's no installation. You just double click to run it and launch the Speed Test Server. Click on more info if you ask for permissions and say run anyway. And then that's going to launch the Speed Test Server uh, on your host machine. Okay, so once the speed test server is launched, a couple of things to note. So the first one is the IP address here. So the server is listening for uh, requests, in my case, on 192.168.1.90, port 3000. You can change the port number if uh, that port's already been used by something else. But in most cases, it seems to detect a free port. Okay, so let's head over to another machine and uh, I'll demonstrate how to run the speed test. Okay, so I've switched over to uh, my laptop, which is connected to the uh, network by Wi-Fi. This is a Windows 11 machine. Uh, so the first thing to do is just open a browser and then in that browser, type in the IP address that we just looked at uh, for the speed test server and press enter. And so there you go, that's hit the speed test server, hit start, and now that's doing a speed test from my Wi-Fi laptop over to my router, out of the router, and over to the speed test machine. So this is quite an old laptop, so the Wi-Fi standard is quite an old one. So here you can see I'm just getting 200 odd um, megabits per second download. Then it will do an upload test, slightly faster, and you can see that the ping time and jitter are incredibly low, which they should be as it's all on the same network uh, hosted locally. Now, you can also do this on uh, any other device. So let's go ahead and do another test, but this time on my Android phone. So just open up a browser on your Android phone and then in the address bar, just type in the same IP address and press enter. There we go, we've got the same speed test interface. So if I just press start, this is a brand new device, got a better Wi-Fi spec. So you can see I'm getting almost 500 megabits per second download. Uh, Jitter is six. And so it will just go ahead and finish off the tests. If they found that helpful, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.